right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I do have another vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today. And this is something that I wasn't necessarily going to give like a full, full, like, I don't know, opinionated, in-depth sort of review on. I'm talking about the Broadside Admiral Culverin combo, but a lot of people have been requesting this. So I thought I would throw this out there and give my two cents as well. The Admiral is just a banging mech mod, a banging and expensive mech mod and it's got a really unique and interesting switch. I absolutely love the switch in this device, but in order to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. That's right. Quick short up the closey time. There it is. Go. <clears throat> All right. Yeehaw. Well, let's take a look at this broadside Culverin combo from top to bottom. First things first, the top is the atomizer. Big two post deck on there. Big two post deck on there. Side airflow, large holes for your wires. This thing will take any coil that you can possibly throw at it. Those holes in the posts are just gigantic. And it has a fairly deep juice well in there as well. Now, this is in hybrid mode, so this means means that the atomizer threads directly to the tube. Obviously because the threads are the same and you can thread it directly to the tube without having to deal with any sort of 510 connection on top, but the broadside does also come with a standard pin 510 connection. So if you wanted to use any other atomizer, you can uh, use this, screw it on there. It's a little bit wonky. It's a little bit fiddly. So you can attach a regular atomizer and then you have your connection pin right here and there's an O-ring on the inside that this kind of fits into and you want to press this down and make sure that it's touching that atomizer and then you're going to use this to adjust everything else in the mod and this is reverse threaded and so you kind of have to adjust this and find that sweet spot so that when you put this on to the mod it's going to take up for the battery rattle and it's not only going to take up for the battery rattle but you want to make sure that it's touching the 510 pin on your atomizer as well Let's just press the button and give it a test and see if i did this correctly hey look at that totally working so that's for using basically any other atomizer on here. But I like the Culverin broadside combo so much in hybrid mode that I just use it right there. Boom in hybrid mode. And this is how you're going to be taking your battery in and out of the mod. You're going to be pulling off the atomizer and your battery goes in the inside. The broadside supports uh, 2,700 batteries. And then we're going to look at my favorite part of the broadside, which is the switch. The switch is just kind of genius. And the base here, all you have is a plastic, uh, you know, Delrin branded cap and then the sleeve right here. These are your contacts right here and it's literally just three contacts held together by an o-ring and then you have a contact right here it's just a flathead screw right there and you can take this contact out if you need to uh you know maintenance it clean it or anything like that and there's also a delrin stopper in here where your battery is going to sit this is threaded in here so you know you, you can pull it out if you want to there's no real reason to do that so let's reassemble this i'm gonna throw that contact back in just snug it down a little bit so what's happening in here when you press the button is this contact is touching your battery and then these sit on your contact and they're machined in such a way that when they get placed on here you can feel just boom, a little bit of a click, and then they stay on. And then when you press that button, the contacts spread out and touch the outside of the mod completing the circuit. And when you let go, the O-ring pulls the contacts back away from the side and stops the process. It's kind of a brilliant switch. It's got a tiny, tiny, just short, short little throw, and it hits really, really well. But we'll talk about that when we get back out to normal view. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a way for you to see this, but you can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see right there. There are holes strategically placed throughout this button. I guess outside of the chamber would be a much better idea. See this notch right there? Yeah, that's a vent hole. Notch right there? Yeah, that's a vent hole. Notch right there? That's a vent hole. And there are vent holes all along the inside of the Delrin here on the bottom of the switch. And this one's engraved with uh, Grim Green, which I always appreciate. Doesn't necessarily make it a better mod, but he did special engrave this one with Grim Green on there. It's the one of one Grim Green edition broadside. Admiral Culverin combo. So we're going to put this all back together and I do want to vape it, but it doesn't have a build on it. So what I'm going to do real quickly is just throw a build on this and wick it.
it has been wicked. It has been juiced and oh yeah, the vapors. Beautiful, just hitting like the fist of an angry god. So a few things I really like about this Broadside Admiral, I just like the way it hits. Like I said, it hits nice and hard. I'm a big fan of that particular switch design. It is a tiny, tiny, quick, short little throw on there. And I do also really like using good 2700 batteries in mech mods. I really wish that more people would do like 2700, 25 millimeter mech mods. I much prefer using a 2700 battery in a mech compared to like an 18650 in a mech. You're just overall gonna get things like higher amp limits and bigger milliamp hours or ma on your battery. And just to clarify real quickly, you're not always going to get higher amp limits and larger milliamp hours on your batteries. Not every 2700 battery will outperform every 18650. Always pay attention to the actual amp limits and actual milliamp hour of your batteries. Don't just assume because it's a 2700 battery that it's gonna have a higher amp limit than an 18650 because that's not always the case. And sorry for butting in like this, but I just try to be as accurate as possible when we're talking about things like batteries and battery safety. I also really love running the Culverin Admiral like hybrid mode. I think it looks very cool, very slick. The Culverin itself, Fairly nice RDA, it's not reinventing the wheel, it's just a big two post RDA with huge post holes, like I said in the up close. This will handle any coil that you can possibly throw at it. And surprisingly, the Culverin has some real nice flavor to it as well. The way they did this airflow, they have it set low down, like below the rim of the RDA, and it's kind of angled up a little bit at your coils. It's almost like, it's almost like Kennedy style airflow without being like, full Kennedy style airflow. As far as the airflow feels, it feels nice and swooshy. It's not a very smooth airflow per se. It gets a little bit turbulent in there, but certainly not turbulent enough to make me not want to use it anymore. I also absolutely love the tips that come with this. They are custom machined, custom sized. They fit in here perfectly. They're this little low pro tip and they're like kind of swoopy and angled. It just makes my overall vape experience a little bit more enjoyable. So a few bummer things about this. The Culverin itself isn't very conducive to blowing your juice through the middle. Just because it's got that two post design and because the airflow is set pretty low on the atomizer. I do have the tendency when I try to blend my juice through it, it does kind of, I don't know, leak out the bottom sometimes. Because it's a two post deck, you're gonna blow your juice right through the middle and it's just gonna go straight to the deck. So any juice that you're blaying into the middle of this, it's just gonna fill up that juice well on the bottom. And then you kind of have to do a little bit of a waiting game for it to get to your wicks and to get up to your coils. And if you over blay it just a little bit because of that air airflow, again, it tends to get a little bit leaky. I've had multiple, multiple occasions where I've had juice kind of coming out the airflow holes here. And I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. You, it's not impossible to blay your juice through the middle of this. It just takes a little bit more, uh, you know, careful attention. You have to be aware of how much juice you're putting in here so that it doesn't leak. Or alternatively, you can pop the top. You can paint your coils just like you would on a lot of other RDAs. You put the cap back on, you reline up your airflow, and the O-rings on the Culverin, by the way, are fantastic O-rings. They hold tight and they are snappy and good. A few other things I'm not in love with here on the broad side, all the venting is on the bottom. All the venting is through the switch, so you kind of do have to run your batteries positive side down, which again, I'm not a huge fan of. And it says on the website that it has a Delrin coated sleeve on the inside. My broadside Admiral has no such Delrin sleeve on the inside. It is raw brass on the inside, and when you're running raw brass on the inside and your positive side is down, 
Yeah, you got to be real, real. I mean, I'll say it again. Real careful with your batteries. Your battery wraps must be in flawless. I mean, flawless, pristine condition. If there's a hole or a tear or a nick in your battery wraps and it's positive side down and that contacts with the side of this mod, it is going to lead straight to a hard short. And hard shorts are what lead to sort of uh, big battery failures. So please, if you're using any mech mod, not even necessarily the broadside Admiral, any mech mod, just be very aware of what you're doing and know exactly what you're doing. I, I can't stress that enough. Every time I talk about mech mods or any time I do a mech mod review, I feel like I need to mention like, hey, battery safety is real, real important. So with all that said, are you going to need your vape budget hands for something like this? Yes, I'm going to underline that. Yes, yes, you will. They're sold separately. The Culverin separately is about a $70 atomizer, and the Broadside Admiral sold seven, sold separately is about a $170 mod. So for this exact combo that I'm vaping right here, you're going to be in over $200. It's going to be about a $240 total for this exact combination. And that's just real expensive. There's no way around it. That is pricey as fuck. So yeah, huge. Vape budget hands are, are in full effect right now. So if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing left to vape. Is the Broadside Admiral Colvarin combo something I would seek out and buy? Oh my god, I really want to say yes, but it's just a pricey setup. This is something that you're going to have to save your money. I would have to save up my money, save up $250 in order to purchase this and 250 bucks I mean that's nothing to blow your nose at that's a lot of money you're making a big investment when you buy something like this but if you do go down that road and you end up with a broadside Admiral Culverin combo it's going to be a stellar vape you're getting a stellar mech mod that is very well machined it's very well thought out it's got a great button on it and it just hits with the risk of repeating myself it just hits like the fist of an angry god, okay? And I, that's a ridiculous thing to say. It, it hits real, real well. So yeah, it is what it is. It's the broadside Colvarin combo. It is a beast of a mech mod. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't like it when you put links to external vape shops in the description of the videos. So you're going to have to use your Google Foo. So happy, happy Googling. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Just thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping and let's keep Keep on vaping safely.